Hey guys, I was writing in the board. Um, welcome to uh, Grammar for Quarter. I hope that your notebooks have the, the specific divisions for for four quarter. Uh, and when you do them, send them to me in the wall um, of the platform's wall. Um, you're gonna need your notebook and your reading path. So if you don't have it, you can pause it and go get the, the book and the notebook. Um, okay, so uh, the topic that we are the topic that we're gonna um, discuss this this week is first conditional, first conditional, and second conditional were the fir the last topics that we discussed uh, at the end of the quarter, the at the end of third quarter, and we are going to explore them a little more. Um, so I'm gonna explain a little of the concept, and then I'm gonna use the word to explain it a little better. Um, so in page 106, if you don't have it, go pause the video and go get your book. Um, use the first conditional to talk about a possible future action or situation. There are two parts in a first conditional sentence, an F clause and a main clause. An F clause is the condition. You say in that F something is done and then the will clause tells you what will happen F will or will not. To form the first conditional use, and they, they give you a formula that we're not going to use, we're going to use the formulas that we, on, that we know, um, the clause can go at the beginning or at the end. So this is something that you will do in your homework. You will do both of them. You're going to start with will and you're going to start with F. You'll see in a second. So these are the examples. F, we recycle paper, glass, and plastic, comma, we will help the environment. You're saying that if you do something, something will happen. But also you can do it the opposite. You say, we will help the environment if we recycle paper, glass, and plastic. So you're doing the opposite. You're saying this and this and this is going to happen if we do this and this. We have another example. If we pollute less, we will, less, we will have a healthier world. So as you can see, when we are using F, First, we're going to use a comma after the statement before we, or after, before the noun, after, before, before we will, I will, they will, etc. You'll see in the formula. And then we will have a healthier world if we pollute less. So these are the examples that we are going to use for the first conditional. And I want to explain to you something about the first conditional. The first conditional is something that it takes course in the present, either positive or negative. We're going to switch them. One positive, one negative, one positive, one negative. Um, and it will depend on what you're doing. In here, um, all the verbs are taken into present. If I eat chicken, I will get fat. So everything is taken into present um, with will, and, um, and it's something that is a possibility. If I do, but in reality, it's a conditional. If people say, no, you're not going to eat chicken, then I won't get fat. So th th there's a condition in the things that you are going to take. So for an example, let's... Sorry, I fell. This happened so many times with the sixth grade videos. I don't know why. Every time I try to record a sixth grade, this happens. You fall. It's, it's so bad. I'm sorry, guys. And you have no idea how many times I have recorded these videos. So I ain't going to start again. This is going to be the fourth time that I start this grammar uh, video. So stay there. It's going to fall. No, apparently not. Okay. Okay, so I was writing first conditional before. And I was making use of the board so you can see written examples. So in the book, you have a homework. You have to rewrite the sentences by changing the order in the clauses. But more than that, we are going to write them in both ways, in the opposite way, and also in the negative form of the sentence. So what is the formula for these kind of sentences? 
for the first conditional. You are going to write your conditional Either you choose to write to start with, let's start with F and then take will as our opposite. So we start with F plus noun F and then a noun that you are going to use and then the complement plus you're gonna write a comma in here plus noun and will now the formula is something that you will have to follow according to what you're doing because obviously we are going to have a complement after will so let's try to make it a little smaller let's do it again conditional clause f plus noun plus complement plus comma in the case of f plus noun plus will plus complement again okay so let's do the first example that they have in there uh, it says in the first example we will be happier if we help each other more but as much as we are starting with f we are going to write it with f so we are going to start f we help see f and then the noun we and then complement help each other comma and then we the noun again will be happier as you can see i'm using the same sentence that you have in your book it's just that you started the sentence like this. No, you started the sentence in the opposite with will. So if this is one kind, we are gonna make also the opposite. We are going to start with will. So we write, we will be happier if we help each other. See, so in both ones, you have the same sentences, only in this one, you're giving a conditional, and in this one, you're starting with what will happen if. Now, let's make it negative. If we don't, obviously, we help the only negative that we can write is that if we add don't or doesn't if we don't help each other comma now how can we turn this into negative we are going to add not to the will or we can add a contraction if you don't remember how to add the contraction you have the notes in your notebook that we use at the end of the quarter i hope you've been hearing me because i'm a little afar from you um so this is why it's so important that i write everything so you can take notes too remember that the notebook take uh, cost points this quarter so you have to have all the all the notes that i'm giving about the videos so if we don't we took this sentence into negative if we don't help each other comma how can we take we will be happier into negative we can write we will not be happier let's see if it makes sense if we don't help each other we will not be happier now another way that we can write will not is the contraction won't 